Hey there, Brittany Flammer here. A few months ago, we moved our family of seven across the country and bought a large, beautiful home. The house we bought is more than 20 years old and needed a little bit of updating. Now, if you know anything about us, you know that we wanna do it on a budget and we're gonna do it mostly ourselves. I, we've been working on projects and a lot of people have wanted to see some before and after photos. I was gonna wait until we had everything done, but we're working on a house, so it's never going to be done. So I'm just gonna bring you in, show you what we've done, show you as many before and after shots as possible, and maybe get your input on the things that we have left to work on. So come on in and see what we've done. Probably the most important room for keeping me sane in this house is the entrance from our garage. It's where we come in and out about 90% of the time. And before, it was a mess. There were hooks, but there weren't enough for everyone to have a hook, so everyone just tossed their stuff up and it became a jumbled mess. There was this box at the bottom. You could lift up the lid and put stuff in, but it was a bottomless pit. I called it the black hole. So we took that out. We took off the wallpaper. My husband built the spot for bins. So I bought some bins. He added shiplap. It's not real shiplap, we did it ourselves. He cut the wood, ripped the wood down, cut it. I painted it and we put it up. And we have the same bins up ahead. So each kid has their own hooks. So we've got five kids, so there's our oldest to our youngest. They each have a hook and they are spaced so that they can each fit a backpack. So all five can have their backpacks up and then they have room for jackets and some coats. Down below is a bin, but if you'll notice, this is like a really weird angle, so we can only fit four bins in. So our youngest two share a bin. I love it, they just slide right out. They're sturdy, they've got some metal, they're sturdy. We've had them for six or seven months now and they're still working great. So inside of it's kind of messy, but it looks fine from the outside. And then up ahead are bins for more seasonal stuff. And then if you roll over, we have hooks for my husband and I. Um, so I keep my diaper bag, he keeps his, he works at a school, so he has a backpack as well. And then we each have our own bins as well. And a spot for hanging up our keys. Next room needing an update was our laundry room, which is connected to this mudroom. Now, it is a very weird space. It has tall kind of arched ceilings and it had this awesome wallpaper on it. So we took down the wallpaper, but this was the worst room for removing wallpaper and we had a really hard time getting it off. So we painted it, but then we added shiplap here as well to cover because the wallpaper was so hard to get off on that wall. So we did some shiplap to kind of cover it up. And I love, these are the same hooks we have in our mudroom. I love them. So when we have wet rags or dirty rags from cleaning or wiping up spills, we hang them on the hooks to dry and then we put them in our laundry baskets. Here, I feel like this is my life. Can anyone else relate? Um, my husband made those frames and I stained them and I created with canva.com. I created the signs for free and just printed them out. And I love having this laundry bin. It's a rolling laundry cart from Amazon, except for when we were painting, um, our ladder fell on it and broke the frame. So my husband built a wooden frame, but it's a rolling cart and I love it. It has four sections. So we keep rags, all dirty rags. If you've watched any of my frugal living tips, I don't like to use paper towels and disposable stuff. I like to reuse rags. So we hang up our rags to dry on the hooks and then when they're dry so they don't stink, I put them in here. This is for colored clothing. This basket's for white clothing. And this one is for towels and or sheets. Um, our bedrooms are on a different part of the house, but I am amazed at how much laundry we get in here. So I love having it in here. And I like having the different bins so that the kids sort them automatically. When they put them into the bin, everything's already sorted. So I don't have to sort through it when it's time to do laundry. Kitchen's like the center hub of the family. It's the most important room as a family. We use it all the time, but we did not make very many changes. I don't love the backsplash in the kitchen. I don't know, this is granite and really nice, the island is, but the countertops I don't love, but in a couple of years, we're gonna be replacing the flooring. The floor is all original and the carpet really needs to be replaced. So in the next year or two, we're saving up and we're gonna replace those and so we'll probably change the backsplash, see if we wanna make any other changes at the time. I did, however, there were some 
ugly bar stools. I got these ones, the Saddleback ones instead for a great price on Amazon. I will link them because we've really liked them. Um, in fact, anything I mention, I'll try to link down below. Here's another view of the kitchen. Um, there is a cupboard pantry right here. And this is not the prettiest thing to look at, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. Before the shelves went all the way across, so there was a lot more shelving, but they were so deep, you couldn't reach back here. And to try to get a kid to get something out, they would knock stuff over. It was a disaster. You couldn't even see all the food you had. So what we did is we took out some of the shelving. We cut out this section right here. So there's a lot less shelving, but now I can come in and I can reach stuff. I can get cans. I love it. It's nothing very high tech. It's just a bunch of bins that I got from Walmart. And I just printed out labels and laminated them and stuck them up. So everything's labeled. So I know that if I need some Ziploc bags, all my disposable stuff's in there. Or all of our stuff to make sandwiches is in there. Um, and then I have a basket, same basket that our shoes and stuff go in to hold all of our bread. And then we go through a lot of like oats and flour. We go through a lot of oats and flour and staples. So we have five gallon bins down there. And my husband made these rolling can storage, which I absolutely love. So I can just take a can, put it in and it will roll down. So you're always using the oldest. And we have a place, hooks, so that we can hang our brooms, hooks for hanging uh, my aprons. If you've seen my frugal living tips, I use grocery sacks for a lot of things and these are bread sacks I save. So this dining area is attached to the kitchen. It had this awesome red wall and like wrought iron works, just not my style, not my taste. So we took everything down, we repainted it, I took, we had wooden boxes. There was one valence right up here. We, all it is is some wood with fabric wrapped around it. We made a matching one up here. This fabric is curtains. I bought the curtains on Amazon. It was cheaper than buying fabric in the store and it was delivered right to my door. These signs, I found these on Etsy as a digital download. I downloaded them and then printed them out at Staples as engineering prints. So it was like $2 for each of them. Um, I really like them, except for my husband made the frames, so we don't have any glass. We're going to get some plexiglass to put over it and then lower them because they're a little bit high because we didn't want hands to touch them. But we're going to put some plexiglass in and lower them a little bit. Um, clock, I absolutely love. We got it at Sam's for like $20. And then there is another room attached to the kitchen. This is one of the offices in the house. We use this as a kid's room. All we really did in here was repaint. I put up some curtains to give it some color. These are the same curtains that are in the dining area, so they match. And this frame my husband made, and it's a picture of all three of our boys because this frame used to be in our boys' bedroom. Um, so it just has the boys. And it, we also printed out as an engineering print. So it's not like the greatest quality. It's not meant for photos. It's meant for like blueprints of houses, but it's just a few dollars. The color prints are a little bit more expensive than the black and white, but still it's just a couple of dollars and my husband made the frame. So this, we call this our kid's office. Um, we have their bins. This holds each bin is for a different child and it holds all of their papers and schoolwork and keepsakes for their 12, years that they're at home. A magnetic board from, if you've seen our road trip video, we, whenever we go on trips as a family, we like to get a magnet. I have different bins to organize our life. And then this is where we have our chore charts for our kids. We have a money system for our kids. I have a video explaining how we do it, how they, the jobs they do, how they earn money. Um, but I love this is really close to the kitchen. So we're always here and it's easy for them to mark it off. And this is just filing bin. Um, it is now July, and these are my kids' schoolwork from the school year that needs to be put into their filing bins. Apparently, we're a little behind. Living room is probably the room I've struggled with the most. I had these awesome flowers on the wall. We painted over those, and we put up this board and batten. One thing I highly recommend with painting is picking one color you can use throughout your house. Our walls were tan and some of them had paint, painting, like hand painting on them. 
So we repainted, the ceilings were tan, we repainted, we painted all of the ceilings white. So we had one five gallon bucket that did all of our ceilings and it took almost all five gallons. And then we picked one color. I did a gray, agreeable gray by Sherwin Williams. I really like the color because it goes with warms and colds, cool colors. Um, so we did that throughout our house, which is maybe a little bit boring to some people, but it saves so much. So we don't have, I got, we bought the five gallon buckets. So it saved by buying five gallon buckets. It's so easy if we need touch up in any room, we know exactly what paint it is. Um, so I do love that. But here in our living room, there were the awesome flowers on the wall. We painted over those. And I don't like a lot of stuff. I'm kind of more simple. So we wanted to do something on this wall. So we did board and batten, but it was kind of tricky because we have such high ceilings. Most rooms are just eight or nine feet, but these are so high. And I didn't know how high to make the board and batten. So we painted it and then I snapped a photo on my phone and just drew in some lines and decided where, that helped us decide where we wanted how high we wanted the boards to go. We just have a bunch of photos sitting on the photo ledge. And my husband did make from some scrap the larger frames, but the rest are eight by tens that I just found for like 25, 50 cents at thrift stores. I got some, I might've gotten a few at the dollar store. We had to replace some blinds. That picture frame, as you can see, needs to be fixed. I might've broken it when I spray painting it. My husband made this picture frame. The map is from Amazon. We, I love it. We have always had a map wherever we lived because we love to travel. And so we liked, this shows places we've been. The furniture, my parents were downsizing and gave to us. And it's like nice quality furniture, but it, I really think it's ugly. So we are going to replace the furniture. So this is where I need your help. Should we get a sectional or should we stick with couch and love seat? And I don't like the color, I think we might go gray, but tell me in the comments if you think we should do sectional or couch and loveseat. The coffee table, got it used off of Facebook Marketplace and spray painted it. Another closet, organizing things like makes me happy. Having things neat and orderly makes me happy. I love this closet. It was a mess before. Our kids would actually play hide and go seek and hide in there. I just got these bins and I love them. I label them. So look, it's a disaster in there. It's such a mess, but I know that if it has to do with our teeth, it's in that bin. So if I need a toothbrush or need floss or need something, I know it's in there, but it's not neat and orderly, but it looks okay from afar. And um, so I love that. And I fold our sheets. Those are the queen sheets. These are twin. I fold them so I can, all of the sheets are inside of it and pillowcases so I can just pull one out and we're ready to go. This is one of the bedrooms and we turned it into a library slash toy room. These are the buddy bookshelves from Ikea. My husband assembled them. We got an extender, but then he also put crown molding up top and trim down below to make it look a little bit more built in. But that was the cheapest way to do bookshelves rather than making themselves. I love the blackout curtains. Here is our toy closet. We keep all the toys here in the closet, games up here, a few different bins of toys, baby toys down there, a few bins. I love it because it can just be shut. And we are forcing our two girls to share a room rather than letting them have separate rooms so that we could have a separate toy room. This is a futon from Ikea that does fold down. So if we have visitors or if sometimes our girls need a little separation, one of the girls will sleep out here. These are signs I made on canva.com. Got the frames from Amazon. This bedroom, they're still currently earning decorations. My husband built the bunk bed. We had this, had a bunk bed. He used the wood from the existing bunk bed, sanded it down. We had to buy a little bit more wood. It has monkey bars. So it's kind of random, but he built everything. This bathroom had awesome wallpaper, but it was over 20 years old, peeling everywhere and needed to be taken down. So we took down the wallpaper, <clears throat> put up shiplap, vertical shiplap, not real shiplap. We just made it. My husband cut it down. The hooks, there are plenty of hooks and we framed a mirror. So we cased in the mirror and it looks so much nicer and got a new light fixture. Let's see if I turn off the light, you can see it better. So new light fixture to help a little bit. 
Here's the master bedroom. Painted, took down the wallpaper, painted it. My husband built these beds and nightstands. I painted them and we give them a distressed look because we have five kids so they're gonna be distressed whether we want them to or not. Bought the couch off of Facebook Marketplace. Hemmed the curtains I already had. And we replaced, I don't like gold and this house had all gold fixtures. So we went through and all of the hardware we've replaced and that adds up, it's so expensive, but I really don't like gold. However, a lot of the faucets have some gold. This we've left because these are nice high quality and to replace them is so very expensive. So I can handle a little bit of gold, but all of the doorknobs and most of the hardware, the light fixtures we've replaced so that they're not gold. Um, bathroom, all we did was paint and put a same light fixture up, but in case the mirror, so not much there. Our boys' bedroom. We have three boys and we have a triple bunk. My husband did build this. We, I was amazed though when we were looking. There are so many. Even on Amazon, you can get a ton of triple bunk beds. I was amazed. Um, Etsy Art, found that on Etsy, $250 they were asking. We have a ton of scrap wood, so my husband built them for me and I just painted them by hand and I am not a painter. Um, love the blackout curtains. Highly, highly recommend the blackout curtains. Um, frames my husband made and I painted frames we bought to fit all three kids in one room we don't have a dresser I hang almost everything but we have bins so our boys all share socks they each have their own bin for underwear and pajamas and then we hang up their clothes do we do have another bedroom down here that is supposed to be a guest room occasionally right now our oldest son has been sleeping in here because he goes to bed at a different if we put them all to bed at the same time sometimes he sleeps in here so we've got an extra bed dresser we got facebook marketplace i absolutely love these blackout curtains like look at how dark that makes it it's amazing downstairs is a family room it had wallpaper we took off painted the same color we did buy this sectional brand new at Sam's Club. It was on rebate and we have Rakuten. So we got like $60 cash back when we bought it. And we have a projector. So we got the projector and there's a sound bar. We built a box so it, we can store all of our electronic stuff up there. And we have this blank wall because we painted it white so that we can project the movies onto it. In here is our food storage room. We have a thumbprint doorknob so that our kids cannot get into it. We also did some board and batten just because I don't, we don't have a lot of stuff. We needed something and that's easy. So my husband built it, I painted it. Boys bathroom, very similar to the girls upstairs. Ship lap, frame the mirror, replace the light fixture. Last room is office. We took down the wallpaper. This is like our multi-purpose room. We have a little desk, so we can do double screen there. This is my corner where I put things we're selling online or need to sell on Facebook Marketplace. This is my YouTube area, my desk. My husband bought me a standing desk so I can raise it and lower it. That's where I film videos. And this, someone gave us the air hockey table that they didn't want anymore. And currently it's being used. My girls have discovered eBay and trying to sell things online. So that's their pile of things to sell. Our yard already had a lot of landscaping done. And yes, I know the grass is dead. We're in a severe drought, so we're trying to water minimally. We had lots of landscaping already done, but all of this was just weeds. We did have a shed. We painted the shed and we have put in we, meaning mostly my husband, have put in this retaining wall and we're putting in another retaining wall right there and we're gonna have a garden, vegetable garden there. If you're curious to know how we've been able to afford a house like this, even though our income has been really low for our entire marriage, it's because we've been following the frugal living habits that I share on our blog since we were married. So we've never made a ton of money, but we've always lived within our means and made it a priority to save for the things that we want.